Police in Zambia have detained the top editors of Zambia's leading independent newspaper, The Post. The paper's editor-in-chief, Fred Membe, was detained alongside his wife and the paper's deputy managing editor, Joseph Mwende. The trio are accused of criminal trespassing on property. The Zambia Revenue Authority shut down The Post newspaper last week, demanding $6 million in unpaid taxes. Zambian police arrest two senior editors of the country's largest independent newspaper, The Post, days after it was shut down. Friend Mbeba, his wife Mutinta, and his deputy manager editor Joseph Mwendo were arrested after trying to enter the newspaper's offices. The newspaper was shut down last week over alleged unpaid taxes. The Daily Post newspaper has rejected the tax collecting agency claims that it owes millions of dollars. It says the shutdown is an attempt to silence it ahead of a highly contested August elections. Not everyone can be silenced. There are those who accept to be silenced, but not everyone, not us. Press freedom in Zambia ahead of elections, I think. I'd want to tie it to the context of what is happening to the Post newspaper, an independent media organization, which is one of the pillars of the free press and also democracy in the country. What has happened is, to say the least, very unfortunate. The Post, which was established in 1991, has been critical of President Edgar Lunga, who defended the tax authorities move to shut down the paper. The president, however, denied reports that the charges against the newspaper were politically motivated. The United States has since urged authorities to allow the post to reopen. President Lunga and his government have been accusing by the opposition of using repressive laws to restrict the opposition's access to government-controlled media. Lunga, who had been in power for just over a year, will face opposition leader Haikanda Halchima over the United Party for National Development at the polls in August. Bureau report. In and seven.